I'd like to welcome you um, and I uh, want to acknowledge the, uh, the organizing committee that consists of, of me and the folks listed here um, from you know several different institutions, NCAR and some NOAA labs and University of Oklahoma. Um, I'd also like to acknowledge that the, uh, the workshop is funded through the, the uh, Developmental Testbed Center um, from uh, NOAA and NCAR based funds, as well as a little bit from uh, the, uh, the federal infrastructure bill. All right. Um, so, so first, uh, I'm encouraged to see that uh, our registrants are, uh, which are 79 in number, um, represent a pretty broad uh, a uh, portion of the community here. And uh, NCAR and various NOAA labs are well represented, of course. And they take up about two thirds of this pie, uh, but uh, the other one third is is uh, is a broader group. So this is really nice to see. And uh, you know, I say putting C or putting the community in the in the CCPP here, and uh, that's really what we're striving to do to get feedback from uh, a, a large group. Um, all right. So uh, here is a list of uh, what we hope to accomplish in the next uh, three and a half days or, or three half days or so. Um, today is primarily devoted to the, the first goal of uh, informing the community about uh, the current state of the CCPP. And then uh, Wednesday and Thursday will almost entirely be discussion sessions since we're like I said, very much interested in, in uh, hearing community feedback um, about the direction of the CCPP and uh, how to prioritize um, our wants and needs. Um, but specifically, we're looking for, for feedback regarding our, um, our uh, code management model, documentation, support process, training, and, and releases, things like that. Um, we'll also be discussing ways that we can improve our collaboration and hopefully skew our collective uh, development toward true like interoperability. And we'll be reviewing plans for uh, proposed chemistry and atmospheric composition interfaces and discuss how these can hopefully interface with the CCPP. And finally, we'll touch on ways that the CCPP can uh, prepare for the physics of the future and uh, the latest physics dynamics coupling techniques. And then um, after the workshop has completed, um, us and the DPC are tasked with writing up a, a report uh, of our findings from the workshop and uh, creating some of a, a roadmap uh, for the CCPP going forward. So. Um, all right, uh, on to some housekeeping here. Um, here's a look at today's agenda, which all of you have probably seen. Um, but uh, this morning, we'll hear from Lija uh, in a few minutes with a programmatic overview of the CCPP, followed by a technical overview from me. And then we'll uh, break for lunch at 11 um, with uh, refreshments provided by your, uh, your closest coffee machine and refrigerator, since we're all remote. Um, and then after the break, uh, Dustin uh, will provide an overview of our current code management and testing practices. And then I'll end the session um, with uh, an overview of the single column model um, that's used in the CCPP. And uh, I'll go through you know, kind of a walkthrough of some of the code that we're gonna be talking about. And uh, as I mentioned in the, in the emails, feel free to, to attend whatever sessions are most relevant to your work, um, but please plan on attending at least some of the discussion sessions tomorrow. Like I said, we're, we're very much interested in your feedback. And uh, also the, the times listed on the agenda, especially for today, um, there's sort of a, a best guess since we're not overly rehearsed um, with our material. Um, and if we run short, so be it, you know, you'll get some time back. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure um, that we're gonna have a hard cutoff at the end, at the end of the day. So if, if it turns out we're, we're too long and can't get through everything, we'll figure out how to uh, how best to get the information to you. Um, so tomorrow's agenda looks looks uh, pretty much the same in terms of time. Um, I will say that uh, the Zoom link for the main session will be the same, but we'll have different Zoom links for the, the breakout sessions. Both breakout A and, and breakout B will have uh, separate uh, Zoom links uh, that, I've, that I've already shared, but I'll, I'm sure I'll share again just so they have it. Um, let's see. Um, initially, we, we, we wanted to, like, since we want to cover all the discussion topics, we originally had, like, you know, allocated a certain amount of time for each discussion topic, but we kind of felt that that was too restrictive. So we're having, you know, a two hour session basically to cover all these topics and however long um, each of these topics takes, you know, so be it, um, such that the, the leaders can kind of guide the discussion and hopefully cover everything in, in the allotted 
time that we have. Um, and then uh, in the afternoon, we're, we're back together in, in, in one group to, dis to discuss the aerosol and chemistry connections uh, to the CCPP. And, um, and then also uh, the, the concept of what to do about 3D physics within the CCPP. Thursday, again, more the same, same time, same thing with the Zoom links. Um, discussion sessions um, most of the day. And then finally, at the end, end of the day, on the third session, we'll, we'll come back together, try to synthesize what we've talked about, and uh, start to come up with that, with that roadmap for the, for the CCPP going forward. 